Lou Brissy, Corporal, U.S. Army. But I thank all of us that certainly served in World War II and maybe in Korea and the fellows from Vietnam as well. But I think when you look back, first first thing it does is it you realize how delicate life is and how easily it can be taken and how tough it can get. There are a lot of valuable lessons in there if you survive. And I think you have a deeper appreciation of what you have at home, uh, the freedom you have at home, the opportunity you have at home. I think the values that you have, uh, you, you get out in an area fighting a war and you see that those people don't have any of the opportunities or any of the benefits that you accept every day. You expect every day, and it makes a big difference. Uh, and over the long pull, you become to where you feel that, you know, this is the best thing I did with my life. It's the most important thing that I did, and it's also the best. So, uh, to me, it was a very positive thing. I made friends in the service that uh, were friends as long as they lived, and, and there's still a few of them left. But uh, uh, it's a time that we all laugh about each other, but we never talked about the war part. We talked about the funny guys we knew and, and so on and so forth. You know, the personalities instead of the conflict. And David Evans and I went through a basic together. He went into the 3rd Infantry Division, was captured, uh, wounded a number of times, who passed away recently. Uh, <clears throat> When we got on the train and went in the Army and got on the train in Columbia, they said, well, you guys are going to Fort Ord, California. That's the latest route. That, that's, the, that's the thing. I talked to the guy who cut the orders. How many of us have heard that? Uh, so we got on the train and we go 100 miles and they say, okay, everybody off. They say, oh, are we changing trains? No, nope, this is it. And Evan says, you mean all that crying and all that fussing that I did at home? When I left, I'm only a hundred miles from, I can't afford to write my family from here after all that's going on and the, the going away gifts and everything and I'm still just a hundred miles away. But we had a lot of guys who who uh, uh, would see the humorous side to anything, and David Evans was one of those guys. He was a great kidder, you know, like on the night march. I did a little thing on remembering David Evans for his family when he passed away a couple of months back. And, and one of the things I remembered is we had these night marches in basic training. And force march, full pack, all at night. And they'd take a break, and of course the first thing they'd tell you to do back then, lay down and get your feet up. And so I was checking some things out, and I came back, and Evan said, Brissy, we've been talking. The guys and I have been talking. And we have named you as our spokesman. And we want you to tell the colonel that we ain't going to do this anymore. Uh, we've done it a number of times and we feel that we prove we can do it. We don't have to do it. Now, do you want to go tell him or do you want me to go tell him you sent me? <laughs> well, of course, everybody gets a big, big kick out of that. You know, that picks up the group a little bit. But uh, a lot of them, uh, Walter Summerford, who lives right out of Baltimore, uh, was a very small guy. And we had fellows who couldn't uh, 
stand the forced march bit with a full pack. Tony was one of those who would take two packs. And you know, and he might have weighed 160 pounds, soaking wet. And uh, he would take his and someone else's pack and help him out because we didn't want anybody to drop out. Uh, but you saw all of these people, but they made the best of whatever the situation was, and they had, I think you use humor, or the humorous events, or the humorous individuals, <clears throat> as an escape hatch to frustration and worry. And uh, call it looking on the bright side, I'm not sure what the proper term, but I think that it's used a lot by fellows to deal with what they had to deal with. And of course, during basic in those times, you know, you really don't know what it's going to be like because uh, you're, you're just starting out. But uh, it was a great experience for me.